There are growing calls tonight for Disney to fire Rachel Ziegler, the star of its widely anticipated Snow White remake. It's because of an anti-Donald Trump post she made after the election, writing, quoting here, May Trump supporters and Trump voters and Trump himself never know peace. Ziegler is now apologizing. She writes in a new post, I left my emotions, let my emotions rather, get the best of me, and I am sorry, contributed to the negative discourse. Sorry, while I take a glass of water. <coughs> all of it, <clears throat> raising questions about what Disney could do next with all this controversy surrounding the star of the show, the Snow White adaptation, and spending a whopping, you guys, $270 million to make it. Now, we should note, NBC News has reached out to Disney and Ziegler's team for comment. We haven't heard back. NBC's Chloe Malas is following this. Chloe, take it off. I need to drink some water here. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so Disney, obviously, they have a problem on their hands because Rachel Zegler has not just made these recent comments about Donald Trump, which she's walking back now. She also made some comments earlier while promoting Snow White, saying that Snow White doesn't need a prince and that this isn't the 1930s anymore and that Snow White can exist on her own. And that upset a lot of people, including Megan Kelly that has been very vocal about Disney recasting this movie and not having Rachel be part of it anymore, um, even though she has, you know, come out and apologized. Disney, though, they haven't said anything. I reached out to them late this afternoon, um, and they haven't said anything to anybody just yet. But this is all coming, Tom, as Bob Iger had said earlier this year that, you know, Disney isn't trying to be woke, that they actually are trying to steer their films back to just creative, imaginative storylines and not be so focused on the messaging. And, you know, Elon Musk has been one of the vocal critics of Bob Iger and of Disney saying that they are playing it, you know, too safe and being overly politically correct when it comes to the content that they're making. So we don't know what Disney is going to do, if anything, right now about Rachel Zegler. You know, you can understand their sensitivity here because while it may go straight over the heads of kids, uh, parents are the ones who take their kids to the movies and you, you may or she may have really alienated some parents in certain states and with certain political leanings and that, that costs money, right? But see, it's hard to say if this is really going to affect the bottom line at the box office. And that's because so many celebrities are actually very left-leaning. left -leaning. And you have people like Robert De Niro and other celebrities that are, you know, going out and campaigning for Kamala Harris and going yeah. out there and make their, their political stance and slant very known. And people still go see their movies. I think at the end of the day, people want to go be entertained. And I don't really think that they let politics affect, it's my own personal opinion, don't let politics affect whether or not they're going to go see a movie. But again, if she continues to make comments, it could give Disney more pause and maybe they will have to come out and say something and do something about it. And I just want to point out, look what happened with Gina Carano, who made comments about comparing um, conservatives to uh, their oppression, uh, she said, to victims of the Holocaust. And so obviously that got her fired uh, from The Mandalorian and she's mm -hmm. been suing Disney. And I just want to point out that Elon Musk has been helping her pay for that suit. And it looks like that's going to go to trial in the fall. So this is not Disney's only headache. Uh, nope, not at all. Okay, Chloe Malos, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.